Hi there, I am Thack from Thack Ironworks. Welcome to this video. The reason I'm doing this video is to talk about blacksmithing coal and specifically why fines in the coal are not really a problem and in fact can be an advantage. And I'm just going to show you a technique in which you can use that uh, type of coal and be quite successful with it. So let us begin. Um, I'm going to start by lighting the forge. Okay, so when lighting a coal forge, um, you start with your previous fire and the coke which you created during that fire. So this is coke from my previous fire. Um, if you're doing your first fire, then you might have to do some uh, wooden, burn some pieces of wood, get some coals going, get your green coal going, and then start getting some coke. But once you've got your first little bit of coke, you save that stuff like sourdough and use it to light your subsequent fires. So, I'm just taking a little pile of newspaper, which I found crammed into a box here, and I'm taking the paper and rolling it into a tight little ball. And then, just pull out the bottom, and we create a little jellyfish tough room. Ignite the paper. Make sure that it's actually burning. And then you set it into the forge pot. I'm turning on my blower. I'm putting on a little bit of air blast now. And I'm going to drag over my coke. Once I've got coke on top of the paper, I can turn the blast up to full. And then just gently pack the coke in as the fire ignites the coke. Now you get a small window of opportunity before the paper burns away to ignite the coke, but it usually doesn't take that long. So we'll just give this about two or three minutes to get up to speed, and then we will demonstrate the coal finds. All right, so this is how the coal arrives when I get it from the mine. I'm getting this coal from uh, Northern Virginia, Southern Pennsylvania. That's geographically um, the best smithing coal in North America. So I've, I've been getting it there for 20 some years. I've been using this coal for about 35 years. So this stuff works. So I'll either get it in this what's called the nut size or pea size. You can see the pea size a little bit smaller. Um, they virtually function the same. Uh, there's not a whole lot of difference um, between the chunks. But in either of them, there always is included some fines. And depending on um, how the coal is handled and a number of other factors, depends how much fines are in the coal. The more often the coal is handled, the more it breaks down and eventually it just turns into powder. So you have to kind of keep that in mind. That's why we don't use a lot of heavy equipment with our coal. We don't uh, move it around any more than it has to. We try to get it from the pile into the bag immediately. Um, but the fines are not really an issue um, as I will demonstrate. So the key to using that is keeping the coal wet. We always keep our coal in a bucket of water and put it on wet, and that's for a number of reasons. Okay, so I've got my fire going here. The coke is um, ignited and got a good fire going. Now I'm gonna start putting some of the green coal or wet coal on, and I've gone through my pile and picked out um, a pile that has a lot of fines in it. So like it's half of fines, it's almost half powder, um, just to demonstrate what I'm doing here. is putting coal around the perimeter. I always leave my front side open here, but I'm putting wet coal around the perimeter of the fire. That does a number of things. One of the things that it does is concentrate the heat into the center, heats up the steel where you want the heat, doesn't bleed heat out, uh, making it uncomfortable to work with. Uh, second thing is that as this begins to roast, the water um, turns into steam, and the steam carries off the sulfur and other impurities in the coal much faster than if you were burning it dry. 
But the beauty of doing it wet is this just as it starts to roast, that's the technical term for coal roasting and transforming into coke. Um, when it's wet and in powder form, it basically just cakes up and turns into a nice big fluffy chunk of coke. So we're just gonna let that burn for a couple minutes, come back and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I don't know, five minutes have elapsed now. I've let this stuff coke up and now we'll just see as we pull it aside here, you can see that it has turned into nice little chunks that hold it together. So basically, you can, when you put it on a wet, you kind of cement your own little fire and then as it cokes up, it becomes larger chunks anyway. And then you can see the dust around the perimeter, perimeter here. I can just move that in and it doesn't seem to be a problem. So you're setting for your fire, you still have large chunks of coke that you can move around, adjust your piece, see what's going on. It works just fine. So hopefully that clarifies things to you. I am a coal merchant here in Canada um, and I do get a lot of inquiries about that. You guys might have more questions as to how to best utilize this coal or any other questions, leave them in the comments below. I can do another video. If you're not convinced about my uh, fines thing here, I could do straight dust. If I could pulverize enough coal, um, I could do um, an experiment or show you um, how I can build a fire with just dust as well. So that's it for today. Hope this was helpful. Um, look forward to your comments. I will see you next time. Back out. See ya!